Okay, so what we have here is really an early preview on the uh, work I'm doing with the uh, Solon one And this particular uh, clamshell unit can be used for a real-time Solon one or regular Solon one design. And this is really a work in progress. And this video is especially made to explain the boost pack. And this new mini uh, solar boost pack has built-in balancing. And the balancing circuitry uses no power unless one of the capacitors gets out of balance. So there's no uh, impact or power drain, and yet you get balancing when you need it. And this balancing uh, circuit can be used for the car boost pack or for solar boost packs or whatever. And I'll put the schematic at uh, laserhacker.com, so check out laserhacker.com for the schematic. But again, this video is mostly about this uh, unit and the balancing function, but it'll also give a little update as to where I'm going with the Solon one so this particular uh, Solon one design uh, opens up, so it gives you 40 watts. It's got a lot of 3D printed parts, like these uh, corner protectors. These are 3D printed. There's a magnet uh, hidden in the uh, ABS here so that this magnetically latches together when you connect it. And uh, that's kind of nice. So the a uh, lot of 3D printed parts, and I'll put all those parts up on the website um, as STL files um, so people can download those. But for now, you'll have the schematic uh, for this, and uh, I can't claim credit for this design. I first saw this balance uh, circuit on eBay. Um, one of the guys selling the Maxwell supercapacitors on eBay had a balance circuit, and uh, I went ahead and hunted down my own LEDs and diodes, and I'll list the uh, part numbers and links to those. Those are from DigiKey. And they work perfectly for making a balance uh, circuit for these boost packs. So let me go ahead and uh, there's a little bit of energy uh, still in the boost pack from when it was exposed to the sun last time. So I'll just uh, connect in the inverter. And if you notice, this design's kind of interesting because this design allows you to run in real time like we're doing right now. So you can set this up for a real time type function. And there's not much light in the house in the house here, so that light's going to go off here pretty quick. But uh, that's your real-time run. But you can see that the design is made in such a way that there's uh, three secret lighter plugs. And you can plug in another device into one of these plugs or a battery pack. So we could put a large battery pack in this side and simply wire it right into the secret lighter plug. Now, the reason you may want to do something like that is battery technology is changing all the time. It's always dropping in price, and uh, this would give you the ability to either start with a cheap battery pack or use uh, lithium iron or whatever you want to do as far as the battery pack goes and connect into here. But what I don't see changing in, in the near future um, until we go to graphene and uh, nanotechnology, but for now, if you build one of these uh, solar boost packs, um, this solar boost pack will probably last the rest of your life. These have million, like a million plus charge discharge cycles. So really, this gives you AC real-time, anytime uh, you need it, just from the sun. And you can see the runtime there on the energy that was in the packs from last time it was the sun. So that ran a nice bit. Um, I'll do a few tests, and we'll see how this runs. But I'm going to go ahead and provide the links to these uh, supercapacitors. I found a pretty good deal on these ones, and these are 100 farad. Uh, supercapacitors. So with the links and with the information here, uh, you guys can get started on your own projects. But again, this is just a video, an update with a work in progress on, I guess what you could call the uh, Solon one uh, update with real time and uh, clamshell features, etc. So when I get this all finished up, uh, my plan is to put it on eBay. I'm going to have to start selling the prototypes I build on eBay because I have so many prototypes. Um, piling up that I just can't uh, keep them all and I plan on putting them in eBay and I'll put them on at my parts cost. So whatever they bid up from there, uh, they'll go into continued research and design, but at least I'll recover the, uh, the parts cost and uh, somebody else can get something to look at and to experiment with and uh, hopefully it'll be good for everybody. But uh, anyway, feel free to post comments. Uh, tell me if you're interested in anything in particular inside of here. But I do plan on going ahead and adding a battery pack so you can have, uh, and the battery pack will Velcro in. So you can remove it, you can run it real time, you can add it in. Um, and if and removing, removal will be easy. You'll just unvelcro and unplug. So you're going to have so many options with this. Uh, Jewel Ringer can plug into here. And uh, so I'll get this all finished up here in the near future.
Okay, so I've got this uh, 200 watt uh, hand blender uh, connected up here, and I'm gonna do some tests. And uh, I went ahead and have some water here for a load, but. So you can see from that that uh, we can pull a heavy load off this real-time system, and thanks to the uh, mini boost pack that's in there, uh, it can really sustain it for quite some time. I'll go ahead and do a uh, duration test here in a second, but um, I just want to point out that you know normally to try to pull a 200-watt uh, hand blender, and that's max load. We, we, maybe we're pulling 100 watts, but whatever the case, the practicality of having a system like this. Uh, really is something else you know this is doing better than i would have guessed so let's do a bit of a duration test here and we'll just run this down What I'm gonna do it, <clears throat> we'll run this down all the way. Okay, just stop. And we'll stop here and see how long it takes to recharge the uh, boost pack. Because this, okay, I'm already starting to get the motor a little bit of start here. Okay, we're already back to the inverter turning on. So you can see there's really no delay in the boost pack coming right back up to charge. And uh, it's just uh, a really neat system. I'm. I'm excited. I see a lot of potential for a uh, boost pack coupled with solar for real-time solar applications.